Hi, I'm Amir Ibrahim. I'm the CEO of Jazz, the leading digital operator in Pakistan. I think, first of all, I must congratulate uh, GSMA for launching Foundry. I think it's a brilliant idea to create innovation at an operator level in the markets that the operators uh, operate in. So, uh, unlike uh, just buying the kit and all the innovation and R&D being done somewhere else in the world, uh, the Foundry actually creates examples of successes of innovation in markets. And it's always about relevant innovation that really matters to the customers, rather than just picking up boxes from all over the world. So, well, very well done to GSMA for that. And Jazz was, of course, a, a proud recipient of the first partnership. Uh, and we have done a, a remarkable job in terms of making sure that one of our projects gets highlighted here at the international arena. Let me first of all talk about the Always On project. Uh, Always On is basically giving customers the opportunity to transact on our Jazz Cash payments platform, even at a time when, for whatever reasons, the network has been shut down. Network shutdowns is becoming more prevalent all over the world. In 2022, we saw about 187 shutdowns happening in 35 countries around the world. Pakistan, unfortunately, had to occasionally shut down the network for security reasons. And what we have been able to do and innovate is to create uh, a solution where at least the financial services, the payments, uh, the mobile money transfers, uh, the loans, can be given to our customers even if the voice network and the SMS network is shut down. So that was the innovation that we created in this Foundry project. And uh, we went through the regulatory challenges and now it has been commercially tested. Uh, the pilot has been successfully approved by the regulator and we are very excited to commercially launch it imminently. I think uh, governments uh, and regulators are a very critical component of the ecosystem. And it's only through an open, respectful, and honest dialogue that we can bring all the stakeholders on the same page. So while there could be imperatives for the governments to occasionally shut down the networks, we need to speak on behalf of our customers to ensure that the shutdown impact is limited, it's localized, and it is not universally applicable. And even if there is a certain layer of a shutdown, uh, the other layers of the network can continue working. And Always On is a classic example and a huge uh, uh, element of our innovation laboratory along with the foundry where we've been able to showcase a success like that. So I think, like I said, innovation is always going to be about what's relevant in a market. And Pakistan, like many other countries, will say, well, we're different. And to certain extents, we are different. So we have to ensure that we leave no one behind when it comes to the benefits of technology, the benefits of broadband, the benefits of smartphone. And we're working into identifying areas on how we can penetrate to the ones who have currently been left behind. And that includes uh, you know, uh, innovation around uh, lending, innovation around uh, smartphone ownership through installment plans. And you're like, installment plans are nothing new. But in an environment which is not documented, in an environment where there's no credit scoring, it requires us to be innovative in a very different manner. So we're coming up with those plans, we're working with the uh, handset manufacturers, we're working with the regulators on how do we make sure that we can actually provide the installments in a manner which is relevant for the customer, affordable for the customer, at the same time not prohibitively expensive for the operator.